What's up, everybody? This is Coach Burrow, and I wanted to share with you one of my morning activation at Camp Fortune. It was raining today, so I decided to go under the chairlift, take a moment, nice breath, and we're going to start with the elbow to instep. So we're going to take a step back with your left leg. You're going to grab that right arm and touch your left knee with your arm and then touch the sky. You're going to press on the brakes, put your knee on the ground, thrust your hips forward, pull your right elbow, touch the other side, arms up, get up, knee hug. We're going to do 10 of those. Take a step back with your right leg. Touch your knee with your left arm. Touch the sky. Press on the brakes. Put your knee on the ground. Touch the wall behind you. Arms up. Knee hug. Two. Take a step back with your left leg. Touch your knee. Touch the sky with your right hand. Press on the brakes, put your knee on the ground, touch the wall behind you, arms up, get up, knee hug. Three, take a step back with your right leg, touch your knee, touch the sky, press on the brakes, put your knee on the ground, touch the wall behind you, arms up, knee hug. Four. Again, you can always uh, follow your own rhythm. Take a step back with your left leg, touch the sky. Do whatever feels right. Press on the brakes. Touch the wall behind you. Arms up. Get up. Knee hug. Going for number six. Take a step back with your right leg. Touch your knee. Touch the sky. Press on the brakes. Put your knee on the ground. Touch the wall behind you. Arms up, get up, knee hug. Going for seven, take a step back with your left leg, touch your knee with your right arm, touch the sky, same arm. Press on the brakes, put your knee on the ground, thrust your hips forward, touch the wall behind you, arms up, get up. Knee hug. Going for number eight. Touch your knee with your left hand, touch the sky, press on the brakes, put your knee on the ground, touch the wall behind you, arms up, get up, knee hug. You got two more or you can always take a break, take a step back, touch your knee, touch the sky, press on the brakes, put your knee on the ground, touch the wall behind you with your right arm, arms up. Get up, knee hug. We got one more. Take a step back with your right leg. Touch your knee. Touch the sky. Press on the brakes. Put your knee on the ground. Touch the wall behind you. Arms up. Get up, knee hug. Our next exercise is rock back with core activation and I will lengthen my left leg to the side to feel a bit of a stretch with my inner groin and I'm gonna try to tuck my toes on my right foot and try to see if my butt can touch my foot one if it cannot two I'm okay with that go wherever it feels right three if you do need a pad under your knee double that mat four please do you can always pause the video Five. You know, rock back. Try to six. Keep that middle section nice and stable. Seven. Try to keep your back nice and flat. Eight. Back core activated. Nine. And last one. Ten. Good job. We're gonna do the other side. So straighten your right leg and try to see if you can sit on your heel. One. Again, 
to. You don't have to sit on your heel. You go wherever, three, it feels right. Four, as you practice the movement, five, your body's going to start relaxing more. Six. If you just do this sequence once. Seven. You just do it once. And that's okay. Eight, it's going to feel good. But if you want to progress. Nine. You have to practice those movements. You have to allow your body. Last one. Ten to adapt to whatever you're doing. So now we're going to do the diamond. So try to see if you can sit on your heels. If you can't, you can always keep your hands on the ground. But I want you to feel a stretch in your feet. You're going to reach for the sky if it's feasible and go into the downward facing dog. One. Touch the sky. Go onto the ground. Two. Downward facing dog. Touch the sky. And I put my hands under my shoulders, three, so that I can get closer to touch the ground with my heels. Four, when I do this sort of adapted downward facing dog. Five, and if you need to adjust, feel free to do so. Touch the sky, hands under your shoulder, downward facing dog, six. Touch the sky, hands under your shoulder, downward facing dog, seven. Touch the sky, downward facing dog, eight. Touch the sky, downward facing dog, nine. Last one, touch the sky. Downward facing dog, 10. Awesome. Let's go take your moment. But uh, we're gonna walk your feet back towards the mat so that you're at the front of your mat. And then decoil your spine so that we can start doing the elbow to instep 10 more times. But this time, take a step back with your left leg. I want you to try, touch your knee, touch the sky, to see if you can add a squat. Press on the brakes, touch the wall behind you, arms up, get up. And see if you can grab your toe or not, you can always rest your foot on the ground. And see how low you can go on that single leg squat. Take your time. And then dig that heel on the ground, get back up. And let's do the other side. Take a step back with your right leg. Touch your knee with your left hand. Touch the sky. Press on the brakes. Put your knee on the ground. Touch the wall behind you. Arms up. Get up. See if you can grab your toe or not. And see how low you can go. So in the beginning, I tend to go a bit slower on this side because I'm a bit stiff around my ankle. That's okay. Take the time it takes. Get back up. Dig that heel. Feel that glute working. And then take a step back with your left leg. We're going for three. Touch your knee. Touch the sky. Press on the brakes. Put your knee on the ground. Touch the wall behind you. Arms up. Get up. Try to see if you can grab your toe and hinge your hips towards the back. Dig that heel on the ground so that you can feel your butt working and your core fired up. And get back up. Take a step back with your right leg. Touch your knee. Touch this guy. Press on the brakes. Put your knee on the ground. Touch the wall behind you. Arms up. Get up. See if you can. Grab your toe, and then how low can you go? Find your edge. Try to see if you can dig that heel on the ground, and then get back up. Feel that butt. No buts about it. 
If you take a step back with your left leg, touch your knee, touch the sky, press on the brakes, put your knee on the ground, touch the wall behind you, arms up, get up. We are doing our fifth repetition. Find your edge. And then we're getting back up. Feel free to take a moment of pause. Take a step back with your right leg. When we do, touch your knee. Touch the sky, the single leg squat. Press on the brakes. Put your knee on the ground. Touch the wall behind you. Arms up. Get up. I'm going for number six. Hinge at your hips. Take your time. Or take a moment to just rest and get back up if you have done the single leg squat. Take a step back with your left leg. Touch your knee. Touch the sky. Press on the brakes. Put your knee on the floor. Touch the wall behind you. Arms up, get up. You can always hug your knee as well. Or do the single leg squat. It's up to you. What feels good for you today? Take a step back with your right leg. Touch your knee. Touch the sky. Press on the brakes. Put your knee on the ground. Touch the wall behind you. Arms up. Get up. Grab your toe or your knee. Single leg squat or knee hug. I love practicing movements. Take a step back when you, with your left leg. Touch your knee. Touch the sky. When you practice press on the brakes movements, you improve. You don't touch the wall behind you. Arms up. Get up. Find your edge. You don't want to just move mindlessly. You want to practice the movements so that it get, you get your good, better, and your better best. Take a step back with your right leg. Touch your knee. Touch the sky. Press on the brakes. Put your knee on the ground. Touch the wall behind you. You are what you do every day. What you are is up to you. Find that edge. And then get back up. Good job, guys. We're going to go back to that rock with core activation and the hip adduction stretch. Kind of like it. Try to rock back, sit on the heel or feel, just feel the stretch too. Eventually you'll be able to three, maybe sit on the heel. And if you're not four, just do whatever feels comfortable for you. Five, I find that I don't get a lot of opportunities. Six to stretch my inner groin. And seven, the when I open up my leg, that's a really great way to do so. Eight. Nine. And um, good job guys. So we're going to do a circle one way. I don't really care about which way you're going. We're doing three. And then the other side. Two. And three. Good. Let's do the other side. So straighten your right leg. And see if you can sit on your left heel. I'm tucking my toes under. Two. I'm checking if my glutes can. Three. Touch. My heel or not. Four. It's not about the move. Five. It's about how you do it. What feels right for you. Six. Seven. Eight. 
hate. I do this because I get an amazing run nine after each time that I do 10 an activation routine. So go one way, two, three. And then we're gonna circle the other way, two, and three. Good. So now we're gonna go to the diamond to downward dog. Touch the sky. Go into the downward facing dog. Touch the sky. Downward facing dog. If you can sit on your heels, great. If you cannot, I think that's three. Touch the sky. Or if you can't sit on your heel, all I want you to feel is a stretch. Five. Sit on your heels. Touch the sky. Then downward facing dog. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And last one, touch the sky. Downward facing dog. Tap. Good job, guys. Let's do the sprinter after this, so you're going to put your left foot in front of you and your heel's going to be close to your knee and you're going to lift your glutes up. One, two, three, four, five, six, we're doing ten of them, seven, and it's okay if you eight cannot get your leg really straight. Nine, I don't want you to lock your knee. Ten, lift that right heel. Two, three, we're doing ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's switch to the other side. So back that left leg and lift your glutes. One, two, three, and uh, four. I don't want you to lock your leg. Five, because that's going to put a lot of pressure. Six, on your joints. Seven, I want you to feel a stretch. Eight, in your muscles. Nine, back of your knees. 10, lift that left heel, should not feel 2, 3, pain at all, 4, 5, if it does, 6, bend that knee, 7, 8, 9, and 10, good. We're going to take a moment to just decoil and step back. And we're going to do this amazing thing I enjoy doing, the push-up walkout. But we will include the grasshopper push-up instead. So grab your knee, touch the opposite elbow, push-up one, push-up the other side, and then walk your hands back. You don't have to do a push-up. If you want, touch the sky. You can always do a traditional push-up on your knees, on your toes. Do whatever feels right. Touch your opposite elbow with your knee, and then the other side. And we're walking back. Two. Touch the sky. Walk your hands forward. Grasshopper push up one way. Grasshopper push up the other way. And then walk your hands back. I believe that's three. Touch the sky. Walk your hands forward. Grasshopper push up one way. Grasshopper push up the other way. And then walk back. We got one more, guys. 
touch this guy. Walk your hands forward. Grasshopper push up one way. Grasshopper push up the other way. And then walk back. That, lady and gentlemen, is five. And we are back to the sprinter. Left leg forward. Lift those glutes. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Lift that right heel. That's ten. Sorry. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Good. Let's do the other side. Back your left leg. Your knee just behind your heel. Lift that glute. One. Those glutes. Two. Three. Feel the stretch. Or notice how more supple five you are on the second round. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You're gonna lift that left heel. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm feeling my glutes working here. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Guys, we're going to finish off with the push-up walkout with a grasshopper push-up. Oh yeah. Touch this guy. Press. Let's go. Grasshopper push-up one. Grasshopper push-up two. So that was a one rep. <laughs> Touch this guy. Walk your hands forward. Grasshopper push up one way. Feel free to not do a push up as well. Other way. And walk back with your hands. You can do this movement without adding a push up. Walk your hands forward. Grasshopper push up one way. Grasshopper push up the other way. And come back. Touch the sky. Walk your hands forward. Press up or push up one way. Press up or push up the other way. And walk your hands back. Touch the sky. Let's do one more. Press up or one way. Press up or the other way. And then walk back. Decoil your spine. Get back up. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'm ready to go for a run. You can always uh, smash that like button if you like what you see. Or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. I'm looking forward to be seeing you next time. And I hope you have a great day. A great run. Or a great whatever you love doing. <laughs>